So today we are going to be taking a look at this AT80, but it's not all as it seems, as on the opposite side of this, I have decorated it for Halloween, shall we say this year, added a ton of bones, and I'll also be going over the interiors, I have changed it, this is based on the last 8080 playset that we got, only I have fully flushed the interior, and just to give you a sneak peek of what's to come later on in this video, we do have two rows of chairs, as well as a total of four seats in the cockpit, but if you wondered why I sound a bit off and why my voice is probably sounding a bit funny. The last couple of days I have had a migraine and by the sounds of it, my voice has not fully recovered. So this tea is gonna get me through this recording and hopefully I sound better by the end of the video. I've made videos on this enough to know the first thing that you're all gonna point out in the comments is the height of the legs of this AT80. Now I do think this is a better proportion to the actual size of the model because the legs of the original playset were twice the height of this. And that's not far off the UCS 8080's size. The UCS 8080 is about 145 scale. We have done countless videos going over that scale on this channel, but this playset is a lot, lot smaller than it. So yeah, it makes sense that the legs should be. Now this isn't exactly proportionate. The legs should be at least a little bit longer, but I think it does make it look a little bit cuter without it. You can see I have completely decorated this left hand side, trying to keep all the bones with the mold marks pointing inwards so that we get this nice flush exterior. Though, as you saw with that one, I have missed a few. And I decorated this to look like the skeleton of an 8080, which was really hard because I couldn't find an animal that had a similar structure to this. I mean, there's a load of animals with four legs, a head, and a big body. But when you look at how many bones go into them creatures, this is definitely a much simpler creature. Anyway, we've still got the flaps as they are on the Lego model, and we can take a look in the back in just a second. But first off, I'd just like to take a look at all of the different bones. And I have kept some features. We had a little rib cage like thing on the 8080 just down here. And I have kept it, I wanted to make it white. I don't have white, so. I made the rib shape, I guess technically this is the ribs up here, but I made this in a light gray with a black surrounding. And I use black as the base color for the whole build because it makes the white pop out all that much better. I could have gone with a little gray scale, but that would take away from the white. There are bones absolutely everywhere and trying to straighten these up, especially when I was doing this middle bit here, which I did last, knocking all these side pieces was a whole kerfuffle. But I've also added these toes onto the 8080 as well. I was unable to do the rest of the foot because I didn't have the pieces in black or white or really any other color than gray. But I think this looks so, so cool. I think, you know what? We will start with the back, but then I wanna jump straight forward to the cockpit because I'm really impressed with how I got four seats in there. So in the back here, like we do with the usual 8080, we have a speeder. Only this speeder here is actually one to 45 minifigure scale. So it doesn't work with this 8080. It would work if I ever pick up the UCS one, which I really would like to do. But you'll notice later on that I have pretty much all the minifigures that I would need already. This speeder is, I believe up on Rebreakable, and on Discord for members to build for free and is a really sleek design. The best part about this is you can actually take off this brick here and get a second minifigure in that gap, which is probably more important if you were to color this brown and put this on Endor, but it's really nice that you can get a second minifigure in the back of this speeder because I'm sure the scouts can drive, but we could whack a snow trooper on the back with a turret to take aim at some of the rebels. But closing that up and moving to the front, I have modified this whole front bit so that the side just pops off. We've got four studs of connectors on the flick fire missile, which I have removed the missiles because I did leave one of them in. I think it was the other side, the right side I left in and fired it at myself. These are absolutely dangerous weapons, or at least when I'm playing with them. So we've got the four studs at the bottom, two at the side, and you can see I've added plenty more control panels. We can in fact lift up the cockpit and you can remove this to reveal the seat on the other side. That's probably a better angle so you can see the two studs 
just on the far side and there's another two on the closed side. So you could get another 8080 Pilot in there. I think I do have a duplicate from, I think it's like a microfighter. And once again, we've got two of the Pilots, which are the same Pilots, or at least sport in the same faces as the ones in the UCS 8080. And an easy fix to, I think most of these do come from the actual playset, as well as the UCS version, but an easy upgrade to your minifigures is looking at Viz here, giving him dual molded legs, which come on the build a minifigure wall. You can get them with Miles Morales minifigure. One of them minifigures come with it. And I think that was my introduction to these dual molded legs, but they're fairly easy pieces to get and they go nice with a whole range of these Imperial officers. And once you're finished looking at the interior, it is really so easy just to pop on the cheek of the AT. 80 and this panel doesn't really lift at all. I noticed that with the front and back panels, they straighten out, but they don't reveal anything. I tried to have it so that you could just pull them up by leaving out the little lock mechanism on the inside. It doesn't work and it actually just hangs down a bit wonky, but this middle panel does still lift up as you saw at the start of the video and it's a nice smooth lift. I have modified something about the tops and bottoms of these. I don't exactly remember what, but if I position you to see a little bit better on the interior, you can see there is a second row of seats at the top. First off, you'll notice all the different snow troopers and this minifigure here does have a different torso that isn't the official piece because the official torso goes for 20 plus pound here in the UK, at least it did when I last checked. So that is just a sticker I've stuck on the top, but it is stuck on top of a snow trooper torso to match up with the back of the print. We have the helmets off so we can reveal their faces. And I don't have all four Snow Trooper minifigures because if you've watched this channel before, you'll know that this Christmas, I will be opening the 2022 Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar, which does include the last Snow Trooper I am missing just on the back down here. I think it is just an exclusive head that I don't have. I'm pretty sure this isn't the same one as Reva, who is used in a few Stormtroopers, but I might be wrong. I might already have it. Either way, it's nice to get the official minifigure, considering most of these have come in, like I said, other sets, including the 8080 playset. But if you would like to see me open that, I'll be opening them on shorts every single day through December, as we have already reviewed this year's advent calendar on the channel. Who knows, perhaps I will buy this year's advent calendar again a few years down the line. And we'll be opening that throughout December in years to come. But on the other side, just so I can show you, you can access both sides with the chairs. And what you might have noticed is there are a few chairs on the back bit here that you don't see when you lift them up. And that is because if we take a look at the door that's just folded over the top, the chairs come up with the door. And originally it was the same on this side, but rather than having a whole ton of chairs, I mean, that's four, eight, and including that middle stripe, we're getting 32 seats in this 8080. This is not a UCS version. There is no need for that many seats. So I'd rather have a few minifigures standing up and perhaps we can sit one of the, perhaps the advent minifigure will go on the top of this 8080, but I would like to close it. And once again, just take a look at the design of this 8080. I've definitely got half a mind to come back and do a festive Christmassy version. And my fiance pointed out that if we had some bone spikes on top, like a Stegosaurus design, this would make a really cool fossil as well. So keep an eye out over on Instagram. I will probably post some pictures if I do add anything to this. And let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a festive Christmas 8080 on display for the festive season because that's definitely something I can look into. I'm not quite sure which angle I'll tackle that. Perhaps I'll have to do a few different Christmassy versions. Let me know if you do like the interior as well of the 8080 because it's definitely something they should have included in the playset. The whole point of this thing is to play and I understand from a display point of view why having so many chairs in is not too great as it does take up a lot of room, but the more minifigures you can get in this ship, I think the better. So I'm very happy with how this turned out and be sure to check out the other videos 
on screen now and drop a like if you did enjoy don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here because i do somehow manage to post daily i didn't realize i've been doing that for over 16 months already thank you all for the support and may the bricks be with you always